GCSE physics students, your equation sheet will not help you with this calculation. It is a half-life calculation, so it involves radioactive decay. So what we're going to look at is how do you work out the initial mass of a sample if we know its mass by a specific amount of time, 414 days, um, and we also know the half-life is 138 days. So to go about doing this question, it's always useful to recap the basics. Um, the idea is that the mass of uh, the substance or the number of nuclei um, goes down over time. Uh, it goes down like this. Now, for the time taken for it to go down to half, um, we can use to find the half-life. So in this case, it's 138 days. Always useful when answering questions like this. So to work out the initial mass of the sample, what we're going to have to do is to figure out how many half-lives have passed. So one half-life is 138 days. The total amount of time is 414. So 414 divided by 138 days gives us an answer of three half-lives have passed since the initial value um, and the time now after 414 days. So if the final mass is 1.45 times 10 to the minus 4, what that means is this value here after that period of time is quite a small value. So to find out what it was initially, uh, what we've got to do is to basically double it three times because there's three half-lives. So what we're going to do, and um, you could do this as 2 uh, to the power uh, 3, or you could do this is going to be equal to um, 2 times 2 times 2, um, which is the same thing, uh, just to double it three times. So you double it, double it, double it. Um, so it's back, we're working with backwards from three half-lives. Now, if you do that, you'll end up with a final answer of 0.00116, uh, which is our final answer to this question.